Hey everyone, it's Amy and hey. Tony. So, I thought about starting a new channel for this, then I thought, no, there's, there's just so much in starting a new channel. Not to mention that would be three channels that we need to upload content to, and that's a lot of bandwidth, and not being able to watch TV, because we get all our TV through internet, so. Anyway, we do hope that you'll join us with this new series. I'm going to call it our resale journey. And we're going to try to become resellers. Now, I have sold stuff online, bought stuff, resold it since I was in high school. My eBay account dates back to 1998. But I've never done it, like, seriously. And I want to start getting serious about it. And have some good funds, especially towards the end, that we found that we're stunned. So, let's get into it. Some of this stuff is just thrift stuff that we're keeping. Some of it, we're selling. So, at Goodwill, found this dragon ornament. And it keeps getting, like, tangled up. But, anyway, it was 50 cents. Tony and I both love dragons, so look forward to having that on the tree. Pick up some games. I don't know how we're going to do on these. We need to, one of us needs to open an um, Amazon seller account so that we have the scanning app and everything. Yeah. Here's the thing. Older games, if you're new to reselling, you may think older games aren't going to do well. And that's wrong. Older games do extremely well. The older they get, the more rare they are to find. The more people who played them as a kid want to replay them. Yeah. Okay. So this is PlayStation 2's Greatest Hits, Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. And so all their games was $2. This is so funny. It says mix, mix and match characters to create custom to the create and customize your own playable Star Wars characters in millions of different ways. And I love that it's got Darth Vader's head on Leia's bikina <laughs> bikina bikini body. I just thought that was fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Also of PlayStation 2. And then 007 Agent Under Fire. Like I said, we kind of messed up and may not do, probably just break even on those, if that, but that's okay, because we're learning. Alright, found this mug, looks brand new, it's reusable plastic, it's made in the USA, which I think is awesome, um, Capital Cups, made in USA, Duncan is you, American, America runs on Duncan. It's a Dunkin' Donuts mug. So it's just a reusable. Just a reusable cup. It's 50 cents. I think I can make money on that. Tony picked up a flashlight. Really old flashlight. But it's in such good condition. I mean the labels kind of is wore off. but And it works. But he's keeping this because, like every other man, he is a flashlight man. Picked up this paint by sticker. This was a dollar. Recreate 12 vintage posters, one sticker at a time. This is the travel edition. Retailed for $14.95. Brand new. None of it's been used. I thought, you know, if I can't sell it, I can give it as a gift. If I can't, um, if I can't think of anybody who wants it as a gift, I can keep it. So, there was that. We picked up a little bag. Tony's going to keep this. It's got a belt clip. 50 cents. You can put a couple magazines in there if you want to picked up this 
adult collectible. It does have a hole in it, but this is like 20 years old, 1989 to 1999, Racing Champions, Hot Rockin', Steel, Diecast, Street Wheels. This is the Kiss Ace Freely Edition. It was $2.00. Trying to find a copyright date, but I'm not seeing one. But yeah. So we're gonna try that. I mean we're gonna try that. Try to sell that. Fellas bag of toys. Got all kinds of goodies in there. Tommy's gonna show these in another video. But six dollars. And that's just personal use. Alright. Pick up this Invader Zim. Complete Invasion. This is the, I guess this entire series. The Complete TV, contains the Complete TV series. We absolutely love Invader Zim. And it is one of those that has quite the cult following. It ended years ago but looked at it it looks like it's absolutely brand new ten dollars we'll see how that does let's see picked up this really dirty hurricane vase hopefully it comes clean it is nasty 50 cents I'm gonna put ornaments in it Tony was saying it'd look really good as a centerpiece. Definitely. Especially if you have a nice round table. With ours, we're going to have to add some stuff around it to give it a little bit more um, oomph. Because <laughs> we got a long table. I picked up this really pretty rust red metal lantern. Just opens up right here. Put your candle in there. Got the snowflakes that'll, you know, shine onto your wall. It was four dollars. However, y'all can see that it was fourteen ninety nine from Kohl's. Can you see that? And yeah, I'm obviously I'm keeping that. I'm not selling that. All right. Now let's get into the big finds. Oh wait, I forgot one little other little thing. These were 50 cents and you get, how many do you get in here? 12, no, 16. So you get these little, I picked it up because there's one in here that looks like a, one in here that is a unicorn. This is what they stamps look like you see that so anyway I thought it was a good buy for 50 cents okay now let's get into the good stuff went to this little place that just had like stuff everywhere you know the kind of place it's nothing's priced it's like falling off the shelves there's tons of stuff well they had a bunch of mugs hanging around the door frame one of the doors this was one of those places that you go into the it was a house and you just keep going there's like there's another room and you go into another room and then another room it's kind of like it felt like the beginning of a horror film <laughs> but anyway i saw these hanging on the wall and I, at first i saw the orange and brown and i thought garfield then I got to looking closer and I was like, wait, no, that's that's Jeffrey from Toys R Toys R Us. Yeah, Toys R Us. <laughs> um So these little mugs have a copyright date of 1990. They say I'm a Toys R Us kid. And I am. Um, I was. So they had two of them. And I thought, yeah, I'll get both of them. Tony and I both, you know, love Toys R Us. And um you know, I thought maybe I can sell them, maybe not. If not, you know, it's just a fun little keepsake. 
Then the other mug I found was from 1994. This one looks like it's in pristine condition. Just needs to be washed. Um, you got Daffy. I am losing my mind. Bugs and Taz. So, took these three mugs up there. Like I said, not priced. The guy looked him over and he's like, uh, 25 cents each. He's like, okay. Then Tony went outside and he found a brand new gas can. Ten, five gallon plastic. <clears throat> yeah, five gallon plastic gas can. Ten bucks. Great deal. So we get to the restaurant to have some lunch. Look these up. These Toys R Us mugs. We searched eBay, looked to buy, sold listings. They're selling for around 25 bucks. Just a little bit of math. That's a hundred times our investment. If this could be, you know, if we could find deals like this all the time, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Do not overlook the small items. And I just realized I've got another bag over there of a few little items that I picked up that are, um, yeah, well. I'm just going to give you a few more ideas of what you can be looking for. They're not huge scores by any means. We have not looked up the Looney Tunes mug. But, yeah. And people are asking right now anywhere from $45 to $79 a piece. That doesn't mean they're going to get it. No. I'd be thrilled with $25. How could you not be thrilled with $25 when you spent a quarter All right. Um, I'll show you these other little things, and then I will show you our big find. Okay. There's this thrift store that has a bunch of little doodads for 25 cents. Now, when I was there the other day, I ended up walking out because the woman made me mad, but that's another story and I went back and of course the item I had found <clears throat> wasn't there anymore it was 25 cent precious moments 50th anniversary made in 1983 just a little couple again 25 cents it was selling for what did I say 25 50 dollars yeah I should have never left that store without that but anyway let's talk about smalls like these mugs I picked up this um, Precious Moments Bell. Again, a quarter. It says Friendship Hits the Spot. And it's got two little girls drinking tea. And yeah, they were originally trying to sell all of these for $3 a piece. So I think I read, I think I saw it's going to be about $12. Which isn't a huge profit, but $0.25. Cents. It's a decent profit. <laughs> okay, then I found these three unicorn bells now of course I can't find anything like these however I feel if I group them together because of the popularity right now of unicorns that I'll probably be able to sell them again 25 cents a piece they do need to be cleaned if anybody can give me some tips on cleaning ceramic without damaging it here's this one can y'all see that like well, that it's got the horseshoe Again, it's, it's a bell. This one has the rainbow. And I thought this was a chip at first, but that's just the paint's come off a little bit. And then there is this one. So. There's three unicorn bells. Like I said, I feel that I'll be able to group these together. Somebody that loves unicorns. Hey, maybe you love unicorns and you want to buy these from me. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. That's just another idea. Don't overlook the small items because small items can sometimes be worth a lot of money. Alright. Last find. Found two of these. This is Moen. Um, 
It says Boardwalk, and then it has the model number. This is what they look like. They're faucets. Five dollars a piece. Looked them up. Brand new. They sell for one hundred fourteen dollars. So, I'd be happy with eighty. Um, that's, you know, might be a little greedy, but <laughs> if they're selling new for one hundred fourteen, I mean, it does. Somebody did write basement on this one. And the other one is probably new in open box. This is definitely an unopened box because it's got these straps. So, um, if we can't sell them, we need, we can use these in our home. So, anyway, that's another fairly good return. All right, so... This is our beginning journey on being serious about making some money on eBay, Macari. I've got some stuff listed on Poshmark. It's not moving. I'm probably going to take that stuff down. And uh, yeah, may list some stuff on Etsy. Stuff like this can be listed on Etsy, vintage stuff, not just craft items. Hmm. Stuff moves pretty slowly there, I've, I've heard though, so... Yeah, anyway, if you have any specific questions about reselling, I've been watching, t for months and months, I've been watching tons of resale videos. And like I said, I have sold stuff since high school, which was a long time ago <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. All right, that's it. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video, and we're going to rest and then start listing. Bye!